For the medium tempos, I use always from the Bayon, I use this pattern on the bass drum, you know, in the hi-hat. Oh. It's the 16th notes on the hi-hat. And some variations on the rim. necessary to play uh, 16th notes all the time so at this at this tempo you can do it but if it becomes faster you do uh, start with the middle tempo uh. Sometimes some, some American drummers use this. Really fast, 
if it's too hard to play, which is would be great, but you can substitute just for. technically speaking because it will be more relaxed to play the busy pattern instead of play with the heel it deserves a good foot technique otherwise it will be a waste of energy you know and when you play a uh, heel down it's a fortless it makes you relax and play and, and, and deal with the fast tempos you know like this and never strike the the the, the, the ball beat against the head play the bass drum as you play the snare drum no? We don't play the snare drum like this. And the bass drum is the same thing. Instead of this, that everything is tense, just relax and try to an open sound. So the heel down, a good heel down technique is required. Uh, listen up. I never smash the, the, the ball beer into the drum, you know? I always comes and go, you know, like, like a rebound off. Take a look at the bass drum. It is effortless and you can balance better the sound of the drum set together. same time, no? It's not a rock groove that has the back beat on the on the two and four like rock or or, or, or funk, you know. It's instead it is the the, the, the the main accent is in the on the bass drum and the E. If I play like this. Too much emphasis on the back beat, it doesn't work, you know. It's just variations without be emphatic on the snare drum. So don't try to put some back beats, otherwise we'll sound like rock and not like bio. This is rock. Just, just variation of the snare drum. Okay? So, don't. 
come from this. by own rhythm. Uh, Maracatu? Maracatu? Si. Bayon? 